and welcome to another T-Bed podcast. And this week we have Bill and Titan with me. Say hello, guys. What's up? Hi. All right. So today we have multiple topics we're going to be discussing. Uh, let's go with uh, Bill to start off. What did you want to discuss? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting to go right off the bat. Oh, let's see here. There's so many topics I want to discuss because I've just been in one of them feisty moves where I want to debate someone. All right, let's see here. What should I start with? That's why I let you go first. <laughs> uh, okay, I just want to... I, 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 I was about to rant on this anyway, so I'm going to talk about Xbox or Microsoft saying the hardware in the consoles or hardware anywhere doesn't matter about your gaming experience. It's not important. By the way, uh, Bill made a video about that, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Well, I'll have a link in the description below. Shameless plug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Microsoft saying the hardware and the consoles don't matter, and that most of us, the consumers, wouldn't understand it anyways. Where do I even begin with that? It's like, I know, it's like, that's just so insulting. It's like, okay, yes, I'm not a programmer, I don't understand CPU architecture or GPU architecture and some of all the coding. I don't really know all of that. But what I can understand is the basic math. It's like, this has more cores, and because of the more cores, it is this faster. I can understand that! <laughs> they might as well just say gamers don't matter to them or something. What were you going to say, Titan? Um, well, I just think it's hilarious because hardware is all that basically matters in what we want. Yeah, for a next-gen console, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the hardware is what matters. The hardware is what makes the new gen c games it's possible. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for the 8 gigs of RAM that the new consoles have, there is a difference between the two RAMs, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, yeah. The new GPU, the new CPU, which I'm not exactly sure what the CPU is. I had rumors that it's a mobile processor, like a mobile processor for a tablet or something, but I don't care if it's a tablet because I know Sony and Microsoft would have actually, you know, upgraded it to the point where it's a lot different than any mobile processor you can actually buy. But my point is, it's like, Microsoft, what are you thinking? You just got yourself off of that DRM nightmare, and then you turn around and insult the consumer again. <laughs> It's like, what the hell? It's just like before, uh, when they had the DRM, uh, one of their main spokesmen said, oh, well, if you don't have online access, just go buy a 360. It was so lame. I, I know what he was trying to say. say. I know what he was yeah. trying to say. It's like, yeah, the 360 meets the needs of the offline consumer. Yeah, to a point, what you're right. You next gen, though? It, th th that's the thing. It's like, I really want to play, let's say... Final Metal Gear Solid 5. That's what I want to play. I don't care about the online aspect, so I don't give a frick about Call of Duty or Battlefield or Titanfall. I just really want to play Metal Gear Solid 5. Or Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. That's what I want to play. But I can't get online. So you're just telling me I have to get the PS4, but I want to stay loyal to the, you know, Xbox because I'm, ro I'm a royal Xbox fan. I have to get the PS4 now to be able to play MGS5 offline. Because you didn't meet my needs. I've been playing Maldry Solid since I like, PlayStation 1, so I'd, I would get it on PlayStation 4 anyway, but... Uh, yeah, I think I, I've been <laughs> playing Metal Gear since MGS2, because when I got the PS1, I didn't know about Metal Gear, and that wasn't my type of game. But yeah, I've been playing Metal Gear for so long, and it's like, I can't wait. It's like, you're alienating people by saying, it's like, well, no, you can't play this on offline, but now you can, so... Yeah. Titan, yeah. uh, what do you uh, what do you think of like all this with the with Xbox screwing up and then like coming back from that, but still they oh. don't even match up to PlayStation standards. <laughs> well, when the uh, Xbox uh, convention uh, first happened, and everybody uh, when they announced that you have to have online to be able to play, and you're gonna have to have that twenty. Four hour check in, it was basically a low blow to people who play offline. And then, as soon as they got out of all that and they come back and then just insult basically us, you know what I mean, though, right? Yeah, yeah. 
It's a, and the sad part is not a lot of people are saying anything about it. Because, honestly, it is a minor issue. But I just don't like having a company, a corporation, that is supposed to represent our interests on another side. Because, let's face it, if Sony was the only game company, it wouldn't be nearly as cool to be a gamer because there wouldn't be as enough diversity. Yeah. But... With Microsoft being on one side and Sony being on the other side, and one's insulting us, the other one is just pandering to us, because let's face it, Sony is really just pandering towards us. They watch Microsoft and see all the heat they're taking, and they just do the opposite. Yeah, hey, but you know what? It works. It, it, works. it works, but it let's face works. it, th that's all Sony's doing. Is like, I know yeah. Microsoft's getting all this heat, so I'm just going to do the opposite. And let's be honest about Microsoft, too. All they really care about is their dumbass partnerships with, like, EA and uh, Madden and and all, all that uh, NFL shit and also their TV partnerships with like Steven Spielberg. That's all they really care about. They don't really care about the gamers at heart. Um, so. uh, I, I don't say they don't care about the gamers because that's not true. Because obviously they, obviously they care. care about they gamers. obviously have they some respect for the gamers because they wouldn't and got the exclusive exclusivity deal for Titanfall. They know no, what they. That deal is is the same deal as Call of Duty. I, I know, I know, I know. Map packs. No, it's Titan Force not coming for the PS4. More money though. Titan Force not coming for the PS4. PS4. PS4 is not getting Titanfall. Maybe down the road it will, like Bioshock, like a year or two down the road, the PS4 would get a version of Titanfall. But as of right now, Titanfall is an Xbox and PC exclusive. So it's just a Microsoft exclusive because let's face yeah. it, PCs yeah. are Microsoft. Honestly, though, I could care less about Titanfall. Like, I don't really care about Titanfall because, to me, Titanfall just works like, oh, that's Call of Duty with mechs. That's how yeah. it works to me. It doesn't work all that revolutionary. Because the way I work at it, I know this game is uh, a third-person shooter, but Starhawk for the PS3 has already done something similar to what they're doing. The difference is Starhawk is a third-person shooter, and that's going to be a first-person shooter. Other than that, there's not much difference. Games like that have exist. Yeah. Titan, what did you think of Titanfall? Oh, see where I did that there? Well, I actually have no idea about that. <laughs> oh. You haven't seen anything? Or... No, I haven't. Oh, wow. All right, we have a guy we that's not up to date on the E3 stuff. Oh, God. I'm just find, finding stuff out by listening to you guys, so I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> all right. I'll send you a link of, of all that gameplay and stuff later, after the podcast or something. All right. And one thing that I want to get at is, you know, back in the PS3 and the Xbox 360 days, that controversy with uh, PS3 versus Xbox and how people got into it so much all over Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all that. <laughs> and now that we come back with the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's coming up again, and I'm getting tired of it. Or, oh, 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 console yeah. wars? Yes, console wars. I hate it. I really do not like it. Just wait till they hear about the Steam box. They'll go ape shit crazy. <laughs> yeah, that would be another. And the, the, have you heard that Google is now going to possibly be making a console? Uh, well, I've heard about yeah, that, but mobile console. games. So yeah, Sorry, they they. Perfect. That's what it's rumored. It's just going to be mostly the console game. Ah, uh, not console, but uh, casual games. So like Angry Birds yeah. and uh, Candy Saga, blah, blah, that kind of stuff. But at the same time. Let's face it, if Google makes a console, we, 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 it would be awesome because they could very easily say, <laughs> yeah, Microsoft, yeah, I'm just going to buy all your exclusives. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm oh, Google. Yeah, no. Or it could Actually, be... Sorry, go ahead, Dad. Go No, go ahead, Nick. I was going to say, it could be a big fail like the Google Glass is going to be, but anyway, uh, that's just... I don't, I don't know, know if I don't know if Google Glass is going to be all that epic of a failure. It might not be a big adoption rate. It might take some time because let's face it, TV came back out in the 40s and 50s, and it took a while for TV to be adopted. But look at it now, TV is everywhere. Yeah, it's, that's true. So Google Glass is Google Glass is the original version of Google Glass. This might not be highly adopted, but maybe five, six iterations down the road, it would be everywhere. Of course, they have to update it, though, like, like with the iPhone, like, look how many generations that's gone through, so. Yeah, the iPhone yeah. now is, is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, it can get better, let's not let's say, but the iPhone is a really good device. Same way with yeah. the Galaxy. The Galaxy, the Android version of the iPhone, is a really good device. As yeah. of right now, though, Google Glass is, 
is a fail to me just because I don't think anyone would really want to tilt their head back and forth to to scroll through something. It's just another ridiculous. thing if they do make if that rumor of the Google console is true, what would like I don't think it's I think it's gonna be a fail like the Google glasses would be because what are you gonna do? You're gonna play Google play games like apps and all that. Basically like my Blu ray player. I have it's a Google Blu ray player and I could play apps off Google Play on it. It's basically what it is, I think. Yeah. But I, but, I but what's Google's focusing at okay. Me, Nick, and Titan, we, we all, all obviously, we really want to play the Call of Duty or the Battlefield, the Last of Us, Halo, yeah. you know, them really high triple A hardcore titles. But yeah. what's the bigger, more profitable gaming section? It's the casual, it's Angry Birds, and all that stuff. That's where the real money is, and that's what Google's working at. That's that's exactly what they're doing. For us, though, I don't. I I think it will be a fail. Like for other people, obviously, the casual players, they'll really enjoy it. But for the hardcore gamers, it'll definitely be a fail. So they won't even bother purchasing one. Oh, you probably not. This is like the Wii U. I would have might have bought a Wii U because I would love to play a Zelda game and play a Mario game. Because right now, playing a Mario game just sounds really fun. But <laughs> unfortunately. I really didn't care about Mario U. That didn't work all that enticing. But, maybe, with the rumors from the E3, I might get a Wii U if I can find the money. Have the PS4 and a Wii U. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. I'm still doing PlayStation 4. <laughs> uh, eventually, I'm probably going to have least a PS4 and an Xbox One because I know my brother, he kind of likes getting the Xbox, you know, just to have that variety of games. So eventually I probably would have both and hopefully maybe the Wii U and have all three. That would be kind of cool. Okay, but uh, that's another thing too. Like, a lot of the players that bought uh, the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, I used to own both. And I would only have to pay online for the Xbox. Now you have to pay online for PlayStation 4. So do you think people will still buy both and pay online for both? Or just one? Or well, what do you think? Oh, well, I, I guess 4 is cheaper. Yeah, it is. By 10 bucks. 10 bucks. It's four ninety nine, forty nine ninety nine versus the fifty nine ninety nine. For what? For the subscription for Plus versus Live. I don't know that, but the console is like a hundred dollars. Well, that, the, true, too. the console is all hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. But the PS4, if the PS4 did the original plan, and this is another thing that Sony did, which was really freaking epic, that was it, brilliantly done, is they contacted GameStop, Walmart, and all the places that they would sell the PS4, and told them to remove the PlayStation I, remove the PlayStation I. But yeah. and that's all they told them. Then on E3 they dropped the bomb. It's like three ninety nine, and because they removed this PlayStation I, they were able to get away with that. Yeah. So now, if Sony did exactly what they wanted to do, include the I, like Xbox is included in the Connect, the PS4 would be four ninety nine plus the membership. So technically, the PS4 would be actually more expensive because everyone on. PlayStation Network would have to upgrade. A good, good majority of people would have to get that service. So I guess that's good news for everyone wanted by the FBI because now they can't watch you unless you buy the I separately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the NSA can't watch any Sony fan. <laughs> yeah. I like the Xbox, which is freaking watching you all the time, apparently. It is. You can order pizza from your dashboard. Yeah, that's insane. But anyways, we, we, we hopped on this topic enough, so new topic. Uh, yeah, uh, let's talk about, you said DOMA? Let's talk about DOMA. Oh, okay. Yeah, DOMA was repealed a couple of days ago. Um, Can I think you uh, inform me about it? No oh, it's the defense, of, the defense of Marriage Act. Oh. It, 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 they repeal, They found it unconstitutional under the guise is everyone equal protection under the law. The gays were not getting equal, equal protection under the law with DOMA being in place. So that makes it unconstitutional. And so therefore the U.S. Supreme Court in a 5-4 decision decided to repeal it. And they also said Prop 8 in California is should be vacated. And then the 
justices and Supreme Court, the att Attorney General of California, instantly repealed Prop 8 and just was done. Just It's gone. So now, in California and like 10 other states, gay marriage is perfectly legal. And they have exactly the same rights as any other married couple would have. So it's a glorious Not day same. for equality. Mm. Alright, so Titan, what do you what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think gay marriage should be allowed because I mean I have friends that are gay and everything and I'm cool with them. And I just don't see how it's right, how it's illegal. It, you know what I mean? It, it's been outlawed in Michigan where I live, it's still outlawed. Eventually it hopefully we will move. And be progressive and realize that it doesn't really freaking matter. It doesn't affect anyone other than the people that want to do this. That's all, all we're doing is oppressing another group of people. That's all we're doing. We're, we're not doing anything productive here. We're, we're, we're totally just wooing ourselves to take. We don't like this, so we're just going to hide it behind ourselves and hope that it never surfaces. And that's all, all, that's all we've been doing since the 90s when Doma went into existence. Because yeah. we have some bigots in the Christian right that decided, you know, it's a really good idea to try to illustrate things that we're scared of. Alright. Anyways, I'm done ranting, so Nick, you can put your thoughts in. <laughs> <laughs> alright, sounds yeah. good. Um... Yeah, I, I think I think that's that's great that uh, it was repealed, and um, I think that it's definitely a step forward in the right direction because, like, I know for a long time there we had a lot of protests and shit like that. Oh, so the protests won't stop. More people like supporting. Uh, yeah, the protests won't stop. Everything. The protests won't stop because there's still that vocal minority that's uh, totally against this. And that won't stop until they're all dead. And unfortunately, that is years from now. No, so, no, no. Not not against it. No, no, no. I mean, like, were you talking about... Uh, the the, the Christian right like right still exists. The Christian right still exists. Oh, yeah, 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 and no, the people there against it are still there. Like all the other protests. Like, you know, the about actually getting it repealed and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, them protests will stop because yeah. now they have what they want. But the people that want it, we we to reinstate it are still going to protest. All the haters, right? Yeah, yeah. the haters are going to hate. Yeah, haters are still going to hate no matter what. I hate haters. I hate <laughs> well, I love haters because haters uh, are what really sense. drive people to to like uh, get these bills repealed and and shit like that because. If if there's haters in the world, then obviously there's gonna be other people that step up and and uh, go and go out there and uh, let their voice be heard. So they have to rise above the haters, and that's what they did, obviously. So yeah, that's what you said in your video, right? Yeah, exactly. Speaking yeah. of videos, let's talk about your channel for a minute. Let's just get off this topic. Uh, All so right. uh, we'll put a link to your channel in the description below, but. Just explain what you do on your channel. My channel? Yeah, just like, what do you, what do, you do uh, on your YouTube channel? What's your main focus? What are your goals for the future on YouTube? Well, my goals for the future is just, like, I'm not one of those YouTubers that just want to make money off of it. I want to just put my videos out there because I enjoy making them. Uh, but, you know, right now I'm, I'm barely starting out on my YouTube channel. I'm actually making another YouTube channel. Uh, for a fresh start and the videos that I actually focus on are just commentaries and if I feel like it I'll do some montages. I'm actually starting to do Minecraft on my channel, which is uh, nice. I love videos. Minecraft. Yeah Yeah, that's what I was actually about to do after we're finished with the podcast this their episode because I need to upload one today Yeah, that game for me like uh, when I first saw it, I was like wow, I'll never play this but yeah. Uh, it really it's really awesome and I love playing it. So I love watching it on YouTube too. So if you guys want to watch it then just check out Titan and his uh you said your new channel is coming up soon? Yeah, it, yeah. I've already made it. Um like in my videos and everything, I'm just gonna, you know, uh shout out my other channel onto my Titan Does COD. 
yeah. channel. And once I get a fair amount of subscribers, that's when I'll start posting videos on my um, other channel. I'll put both in the description below. Bill, are you are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just okay, being. I'm, I'm letting you interview Titan in his channel. I, I thought I, I was hearing you talking, but like it was coming in all fuzzy. I don't know. No, I was just playing with toenail clippers because I got. Oh, that, that's why. Yeah, okay. I thought it was your mouse. Yeah, or something. Uh, uh, you know, I got my hands were fizzy, so I had to grab something. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um. That's basically what I focus on. It's just commentaries and all that. That's awesome, and and you said you really do it for fun, like. Uh, yeah, it's for fun. I mean, yeah, I would fun. like to make money off of it, but I do it for fun because I mean, it it gives me something to do. It's my hobby and all that, and like just editing a video and putting it up, giving me something to do is just you know like a relief, and then it feels good to know that other people enjoy it, and they're watching my content. Exactly too, and like I find like it's a good stress reliever to get home from a long day or something and just make your commentary and if you have something on your mind you can just talk about it right so yeah you can just rant <laughs> yeah well even if you don't want to rant it even if you want to just like create a video that everyone will enjoy too you can just make a good commentary if yeah. you're tired or if you're angry or something or even if you had a great day you can just like sit down and yeah. commentate and, what kind uh, of mic do you use? Um, for my PS3, I use Turtle Beach Kilos, and for uh, commentaries and uh, other stuff, I use my Blue Snowball. Nice. So you have the same setup as me, actually. Yeah. I use uh, Kilo for PS3, and then the Blue Snowball for, for commentaries. Yeah, but uh, uh, back on the topic of you know having like a stress day and everything, and coming back. Uh, going back home and just uh, making a commentary and anything. Yeah. What really gets me is, like, on my first two episodes, actually, on my Minecraft video, the first one, the audio was corrupted, and I was raging. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to explain in the second episode what happened on the first episode. So I go on the second episode, I'm recording and all that, I'm doing a 30-minute episode, and then it turns out the video is corrupted. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. So I just went ahead and... <laughs> At my third episode in my uh, my editing software I use, I have two of them. Uh, for ArcSoft, Showbiz is the one I got with my HD PBR. Yeah. And it's it's horrible. It is. But it I use is. it for commentaries because it's easier to, you know, handle and all that. Just put your video and audio in and just, you know, just edit some of the video and all, all that. Edit your audio, make it clear. And um, the other one I use is... Adobe Premiere. It's basically like Sony Vegas. Um, oh yeah. It's just like it's just layout. Uh, 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 Premiere is so much better than a Vegas. I had a Premiere before I had to redo my computer, and then yeah. And one thing that I'm having a problem with is actually um, my third episode. I'm actually having my um, friend, my friend or editor. Uh, my friend Samran helping me uh, because he he understands everything about computers and all that. Yeah. So he's he's trying to help me upload it. I mean, I could edit the video and edit my audio and put in effects. It's just that I can't um, upload it because um, I have Adobe Encoder too, so I can make my video have a better kind of quality. Because if you watch my videos, it, it's in 720H, uh, you know, high quality. Yeah, HD. And yeah. Yeah, 720p, but it looks like it's 480p, and that's what I'm having a problem with. And he was explaining to me how I have to, you know, I don't want to go on too far about this. Yeah, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Like it's just, just to hard work. making videos, basically. Oh, well, it definitely uh, was a lot of work when I first started out, too. I, I used to use, um, what's that dumbass program? I think it was Windows Media Player, or, oh, or Windows... Movie yeah. Maker. Movie Maker. Maker, yeah, movie maker. So, and that was that was so random to just make a video on that thing and to upload it. I don't know. I'm glad I'm done with that. But uh, if you ever need like a template or anything for uploading, just let us know. Like we'll send you one uh, for either Premiere or Vegas. Doesn't matter. Because me and Bill okay. both know what, how to do what, that. What, what, so. what? I know this is going to be way boring podcast. Technical stuff. 